Victoria's Chief Health Officer has spoken for the first time since the hotel quarantine inquiry held an extraordinary meeting on Tuesday and issued the professor with a please explain. It's over a series of email chains withheld by the health department, which appear to contradict Brett Sutton's testimony about how much he knew and how involved he was in the scheme. Well, no, it's, it's not appropriate for me to run a commentary prior to the, the inquiry process. Professor Sutton is saying very little on whether he stands by his testimony and why he told solicitors to withhold emails from the inquiry. I will cooperate as I have always done and they'll have their determinations very soon. Andrea Crothers, Sky News, Melbourne. Sky News' Peter Credlin has grilled Victoria's Chief Health Officer as he broke his silence over his evidence to the hotel inquiry. Brett Sutton has been absent from coronavirus briefings this week. Emails emerged which appeared to contradict his testimony over when he knew private security guards were enlisted for hotel quarantine. He refused to be drawn on his evidence. Well, no, it's, it's not appropriate for me to run a commentary prior to the, the inquiry process. That's, that would be... Um, that would be inappropriate for me. The notice to produce, I, I expect, very soon. I will cooperate, as I have always done, and they'll have their determinations very soon. He was also questioned over the Cedar Meats cluster. He was asked why he didn't shut the meatworks down sooner. It took a week to shut them down. My recollection is there were only a few cases when that was raised with me, the shutting down of Cedar Meats, and I, and I gave my advice at that time to uh, shut it down completely. So that's my recollection. But how was there six workers, seven workers actually, identified from Cedar Meats and put into ridges under the say-so of your department or your chief, deputy chief health officer at that time? And I've got a copy of the documentation they had isolation, diagnosis, directions number two and a whole lot of paperwork that was incoming. I've spoken to the security firm who was operating Ridges at that time. Um, this is a week before you took the action to shut down Cedar Meats and you knew there were seven workers at Cedar Meats who were moved from their homes to Ridges. So why did it take so long to shut down Cedar Meats? No, I'm saying I shut down Cedar Meats as soon as I was aware of those cases. But Annalise uh, Van Diemen made this direction for these seven workers to leave their homes and go to Ridges, and she's your deputy, how, how does the one hand not talk to the other hand? I'll have to come back to you on, on exactly what you're referring to because I haven't got that information in front of me.